Hi, we're ready for step two on our eighth grade sketchbook covers. And my acrylic paint is dry and it's got a plasticky coating on the surface and we're ready for our next step. So you see a couple of supplies on the table. I have some dish soap and I've got some black spray paint. Yes, we are gonna use black spray paint on the first or second week of school. So I might be crazy, but we're gonna give it a try. Um, I'm starting out with dish soap for my next step. The process that we're doing is called a resist technique. And what resist means is that I'm gonna put a barrier of dish soap between my beautifully painted analogous cover and this spray paint that's gonna go on top of it. Wherever the dish soap is, the colors will show through. So you can be thinking about that when you decide how you want to apply your dish soap. If you drizzle a ton of it all over the place, you'll have very little black spray paint that will be remaining on the cover once we wash the soap away, and you'll have a lot of color popping through. If you just want a little bit of the colors to show through and a lot of the black spray paint to cover it, you can be a little more um, sparing with the dish soap and just do a really light drizzling of it on there. So you'll each have some kind of a squeeze bottle to work with for this next part and something covering your table. And we're just gonna take the dish soap and you can do even a little bit of a practice drizzle on your scratch paper to see how much comes out and how thick you want the lines to be. And you can do a little thinking ahead of time about what you might want to do for your drizzling design. It can be really random where you just sort of go crazy and let accidents happen and that's fine. Or maybe you've got a plan and you wanna do some zigzag lines or some straight lines. It's really up to you how you wanna apply it. For me, I'm drawing some inspiration from a painter called Jackson Pollock. He did a lot of dripping and splashing with his painting and got kind of this random look to it when it was all done. And so I'm gonna go for a little more of his style and just sort of be loose with how I drizzle my soap. So I'm gonna start out and just apply the soap in some thinner lines. And dish soap is interesting because it's a liquid, but it will dry. And we'll have um, these nice lines left over when we're all done. And I'm gonna do some longer lines that kind of go from edge to edge of the paper to give it a little bit of movement. And then I don't wanna forget this corner up here. Maybe I'll do a couple of diagonal lines. And then I'm just gonna do a couple swirls Maybe a few little drips that'll end up looking like dots when it's done. Big old spread out dots. And, and it's kind of relaxing. You could sort of do it all day, but I don't want to cover too much of it. So I'll just give it one more splash. And I'm going to call that good and I'm going to stop. And once this dries, we are gonna be taking this outside and spraying it with black spray paint. So I'll show you the next step after this cover um, and the dish soap is dry.